Hello, hello. Um, I apologize for my voice. It will be uh, gravelly. Um, I blew it out being a cheerleader <laughs> uh, long ago. Uh, so if you're starting your uh, adventure uh, in D2L, which I am not a big fan of, uh, this is the home page. And uh, I use D2L for some things, including quizzing and discussion boards. But uh, most of the uh, content of the course is over here uh, on the fundamentals page. Um, another way to get to the fundamentals page, I hope this link still works, is to go to my home page, uh, which you can. Whoa, dude. Uh, looks like I'll have to work on that. Um, but this is uh, a good learning excuse. If you go uh, to Google and type in Tim Cannon Scranton to avoid the Tim Cannon from Pittsburgh, um, and it, there's a couple pictures of me, and uh, there's the home page. And uh, from my home page, links to courses I teach, and this is our course. So as is often the case with anything in the uh, on the web, there's multiple ways to get where you need to go. Um, and let me clean this up a little bit. So there's the opening page and the link I have to fix. Um, this lecture is, oh, as long, as long as we're here, this link will take you to D2L. So if you came here from D2L, this will take you back. Oh my, there's two syllabus links. I keep killing that extra link, but it keeps coming back. Let me uh, refresh my page here. Nothing. Um, make sure you go to the one for this course. There's one link in here that won't die to uh, another course. I've been trying to kill it all day. So there we go. So that's the first syllabus link, Fundamentals of Psychology. Uh, and there's the document there. Uh, pop it out. It's easier to work with when it's separate. Now, again, the last time I taught this, this was not an online course. It was not a summer course either. <clears throat> so uh, as is the case with all my syllabi, um, there may be some tweaking. So that's me. Uh, office hours aren't very relevant, but you have access to, to me by email, uh, phone. But let me warn you that I won't answer a call from someone I don't know. So text me first. Uh, don't bother calling, calling the office. It just deflects to my cell phone anyway. Uh, I prefer my uh, Gmail account. Um, but if you write to jtimothy.cannon at scranton.edu, it automatically forwards to my Gmail. Uh, when I write back, it will be from my Gmail. So there's the textbook, which much to my surprise is from 2015. This is getting a little long in the tooth. Um, I think I'd prefer if I weren't teaching uh, a hard copy, but uh, I use an electronic version, which is what I base my lectures on. And, uh, you know, there's a, some objectives largely dealing with what psychology is about and goals that our parent organization gives us, uh, the American uh, Psychological Association. And um, you're responsible for announcements made on the discussion board. And if I make any announcements in my recorded lectures, you're responsible for those too. 
I can't imagine weather uh, canceling the internet, but if it happens, that should deal with that. And I have obligations as a responsible employee. So you can take a quick look at those. Um, I'm testing you on the syllabus. There's, there's no way I'm going to ask you questions about my responsibilities as a responsible uh, employee. You have a writing assignment. Uh, and the link should be, boy, it's a hard link to see right there. Um, and what you should do is uh, open a Word document, or I prefer a Google document, answer the questions there, and then when you're ready to uh, submit your answers, just copy and paste. Let's make sure this link works. Right. So goal setting assignment, it, it will work. Um, tr don't do it live. I mean, it, 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 it'll take too long. Uh, why do I make you do it? Because there's been research indicating that, at least for some people, uh, doing this assignment will improve your grades, uh, not just in this class, but in other classes. Um, your assignment for uh, the first, first day of class, uh, you have to um, choose a quarter of the chapter, chapter one, uh, you can skip the syllabus. Um, and so pick about a quarter of the, uh, the chapter, whatever interests you the most. Uh, make an outline as if you were giving a lecture uh, for uh, that quarter, and then record a lecture. And uh, it's not that I want to see you, I want to hear you. And um, I mean, if you have a webcam, you can direct it at your textbook uh, or whatever you want. Um, but uh, these are easy. I've been doing this for years. Students usually have no problems. But in the beginning of the semester, things are confusing. Don't get stressed. I'm not a crazy person. Um, I know things are confusing. If there are little delays or such, uh, we'll, we'll deal with it. So you owe me this outline on chapter one by 2 p.m. on Monday, because the quiz is the next day. Uh, the quiz will, you'll have about a, a half hour time limit on the quiz, uh, but I'll probably give you an entire day uh, to, to, to take the quiz, uh, and that day will be Tuesday. Um, and of course, on that Tuesday, you'll be preparing your next lectures, and so we proceed through the semester. Uh, when this is a lecture course, there are lectures Monday through Thursday <coughs> uh, each week, so I, I tend to keep uh, that format. Um, and um, assigned readings. It's, it's important to know uh, that you're not responsible for information that's only in the figure or table. And chapter one has at least one, if not two examples of things you don't have to know. Uh, I'll point that out when I record that lecture. Um, the quizzes will be uh, short answer essays, 10 points each, four per quiz. Uh, the final, everybody has to take it. It's comprehensive. Um, it'll be divided into blocks, which will be discussed below. And um, the final is worth a third of your course grade. Therefore, the quizzes are worth two thirds of your course grade. You're not graded on your presentations. You just do them uh, for learning. Um, on the final, you get to challenge, that is replace, uh, uh, one and only one semester block. Um, this causes some confusion, but I, I try to make it clear. I'll compare your grade on the, uh, that part of the final, only that part of the final, and the original uh, block grade, whichever is higher, is what will go into your course grades. Therefore, it can't lower your grade. <laughs> although some of you will worry that it does. Um, so there are 67% for the quizzes, 
and uh, my grading system uh, links back uh, to the course catalog uh, grading system, you know, uh, A, A minus, uh, uh, B plus, B, etc. And uh, there are numbers for each of those, um, uh, which is what you would get. If you have an A average, you have a 4.0. If you have an A minus average, you have a 3.67. So um, you can all get A's. Um, I'm tenured; no one can hurt me. Um, so it makes me happy for people to get good, good grades. Uh, very happy, actually. So there's a uh, a breakdown of the grading system. It, it looks a little confusing. Um, it, it's very precise. Um, and as uh, Bill and I uh, would say, knowledge is power. <clears throat> and once you get a block grade, you know exactly what that grade is, which will, you know, be uh, totally stable unless you challenge and replace it with a better grade. So there's the uh, uh, breakdown of the grading. Uh, last week's says last week. It's really last chapter quiz. <clears throat> Let me fix that now. Seven percent and final exam, thirty-three percent. Please <clears throat> don't ignore the final and don't forget it's comprehensive. Uh, I just taught uh, an online course, and some people were just mangled by the final. Uh, they obviously uh, did what many people do: you take a quiz or a test, and you think that's it. You never have to know that material again. One of the reasons I have a comprehensive final is that there's a science to it. And you will do better in this course knowing there's a comprehensive final and you'll retain more information about the course uh, because there was a final. So I do as much as I can in this course uh, based on, uh, on science. And uh, psychology is the science of behavior. So that's a brief introduction to the syllabus um pay particular attention um to the uh the challenge option because that causes uh, confusion your quiz is open book uh so you can look things up really easily i'm not here to hurt you i'm here to educate you uh so now we will close this <clears throat>